Hey everybody, this is The Last of In GameCube. Welcome back to more Okami. In the last episode, we arrived here at WebCure and began exploring it and learned that Kai's little sister, Lika, is missing. And in this end of this episode, instead of looking for Kai's little sister at the moment, we are going to be going into the base of the Ezofuji Mountains. Okay, now, over here, this place I always thought was kind of eerie to me. Because we have this gigantic ship in the middle of this lake. Enormous lake. I mean, look at this. This place is gigantic. And as you can see, on the right of Amaterasu's head, there is an origin mirror that we can warp to. And we're going to be doing that in a little bit. But right now, we're going to be watching this. Another civilization. We're going to read this. Uh, travel guide. I believe this is 23. No, no, it's not. It's not. Another civilization is 27. Modern Nippon offers mysteries that cannot be easily explained. Devices that even scholars in this capital are unable to decipher. Stone artifacts that endow the wearer with special abilities. There are thoughts to be evidence of a civilization beyond our own. My great-grandfather spoke often of such matters. He had traveled to the windy plains of Taka Pass for brush training. While there, he noticed a strange light tracing an arc in the sky. The light eventually settled in the area of Sasa Sanctuary. Great-grandfather traveled there the following day. Where the light had landed, he saw a mysterious symbol floating in mid-air. It is not uncommon to hear such tales repeated here in Nippon. Whether one believes in this otherworldly civilization or not, it would seem that many among us certainly want to believe. I am not ashamed that I count myself among the ranks. Now that light that settled in Sasa Sanctuary, that was Kaguya's, Kaguya's ship, which actually looked more like an escape pod than a ship. Now, we're going to be reading another one here. Travel Guide... Uh, Celestial Envoy. We're going to be reading this one. When the spirits of evil rise up to infest this world, those benevolent gods who guide us th uh, will find their strength drained. Their power can only be sustained by the faith of humanity. I, legendary, the legendary holy messenger, acting as the sixth Celestial Envoy, have spent many years traveling and preaching to promote this faith. Only my tribe can communicate with the gods and act as a holy messenger, spreading words of the gods throughout the land. If we fail, the gods' power can never be restored, and all is lost. My brush is the tool I use to spread the divine message. The path I have walked, upon, walked has been long and fraught with peril. However, for the sake of the next to take on the mantle of Celestial Envoy, I cannot rest for even a moment. Hey, if you come here during the daytime, there's really no music that plays here. No music. No music. Okay, no. I'm not gonna make that summer camp reference again. That was really corny. Anyways, here we have the last instances of raccoons in this game. We're gonna feed them meat. Because I want to save my fish for something else. And we get nine praise out of that. Now, going around here, there's something that you can get here at the bottom. It's a bunch of cranes that we can feed. We're going to feed them fish. But there's also something else at the bottom that we can also obtain. Okay, now that we're back here with the raccoons, there's something else that we need to... Uh, never mind. Uh, we're going to be finding a bear up here, and we're going to be... Yeah, we're going to be finding a bear. And we're going to need to feed them fish. Now, Kemu said that Lika was traveling in Yoshpet, but we're not going to be getting to Yoshpet in this episode, or maybe even the next episode. Again, this is going to be filled with a lot of exploration and obtaining praise. So, sorry if I have to do this, but this episode is really going to be like just us getting a lot of other stuff. Like, for example, over here... 
Yeah, we've already found a lot of other stuff. Actually, wait, no. I should not be going. Should not have gone there yet. Damn it. I should have gone over there. Actually, wait. Can I go back over here? Yes, I can. Good. I was getting a little ahead of myself for a second there. Is there something that we need to get before coming over here? But I think we're going to go do this thing first. Anyways, I'm going to bloom these two clovers at the same time. And when we do that... The only time we get more than 50 praise in the entire game at once. Okay, a stray bee. There are four stray bees that you can find here, one of which we have to warp to. And there's also a sun fragment that you need to find here. The third to last one that you'll be collecting in the entire game. And I'm also going to draw the moon. There we go. Uh, coming, keeping the moon out is going to be a godsend for you because there's a lot of stuff buried underground. And you won't be able to see that because we animation glitched through part of the floor. Or part of the snow. So yeah, you're gonna need to st you're gonna need to do this at you're gonna need to come here at night for this reason. Stray bead, two down, two to go. Okay. We Alright, we can't go there just yet. I think we fit. Actually, wait. I think we might have fed the last of the sheep. I'm not entirely certain. No, we fed the last of the cranes, not the last of the sheep. Because there are some monkeys that we still need to feed around here. To look for around here. There we go. And this is where the last of the sheep are, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, there are monkeys here. What? Why are there monkeys here of all places? Okay, I really don't get it. Uh, excuse me. Feed the clover. Or bloom the clover, not feed the clover. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> feed the clover? Ha ha ha! We can't possibly feed a clover that's on fire. What am I, stupid? <laughs> I mean, here, this one chest is on fire, one's on ice. So this one is going to contain a stray bead, and the other one's going to have, I believe, a white porcelain pot. No, it's etched glass. Okay, it's one of those two. I figured it would be one of those two. Okay, so I'm going to see where I can find the last of the sheep, and... I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, back over to where we got 80 preys at once. You're going to want to remember that this is here because there is an area over here with another clover and the last of the sheep. And it's daytime. Well, luckily it's daytime for us because there's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Luckily it's daytime for us here because there's literally nothing else that we can get... There's literally nothing else that we can get underground that's in this area. So we're going to feed these freaking sheep. Okay, I'm going to meet you guys back where that bear was on the pathway of the mountain. Okay, back over to where this bear is. There is an area over here that has another diamond rock. We're finally going to be able to do something about those diamond rocks that have been taunting us for this entire game. Thank God! Oh, thank God we can finally do something about those diamond things. I think that's the last of the monkeys. Let me just check. Indeed it is! Okay, these five animals are gonna be... Yeah, we're not gonna be able to... Um, oh yeah, there's a bear. There is one more bear that we have to feed, but that's where the last stray beat is. It was... Bloop! Hey, we got a couple of gourds. And we have the very last Nirvana hole. And it's also the last Nirvana hole that doesn't have a stray bead. As well as the last Nirvana hole, period. 
Yeah, way to be corporal repetition, just like my father again. Okay. Bloom this. We got a crap ton of praise from all of this. Bloom this. And bloom that. How much money do I have? Oh wow, I don't have nearly enough money to get this done. I only have just... I only have a bunch of praise. Okay, so I'll be right back. I have a lot of stuff to sell right now. Okay, now that I've sold everything that I needed to sell, we are going in here. The Divine Spring helped those who toss in some money. Anyway, nothing comes good comes of having too much money. Anyways, we are going to give back three hundred and sixty thousand yen I'm gonna be freaking broke after this then again that's not gonna be for long ah oh, Matarasu only the woman is good and mother to us all only your heart as pure as your own can pierce the darkness. I, Tachigami, can sense purity and light flowing from within you. Thanks to you, my power has again reached its peak. You can now easily slash through anything you desire. Power slash three. We can finally bring down that solid diamond rock that has been taunting us throughout this entire adventure. <sighs> yeah. At long last. And there are five of these diamond rocks throughout the entire game. Well, found throughout the entire... Yeah, throughout the... There are five diamond rocks found throughout the entire game. The one right next to this one was one of them. We've already come across three of them aside from this one. We can finally power slash this thing and get the clover lying underneath it. Each of which contains 50 praise. A whopping 50 praise comes out of each of those diamonds. Now I'm gonna be cutting ahead, again, I'm gonna be cutting ahead to when, where each of the other diamonds are. And we're gonna be going, we're gonna be heading off there, okay? So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna meet you guys back in WebKey or where we're gonna be teleporting to other places. Oh, and there's Kai. How did it go with Camille? Did he want to talk to you about something? It was a little more than a leisurely talk. We were asked to go look for Lika and Yoshpet. Yoshpet? You mean the forest in the east? I don't think anyone's been there to look for her yet. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, that forest isn't exactly a prime tourist spot. Yusin, are you really going to go back there? Who says I'm going back? I was using the royal we. I was talking about furball here. Yospet is like another world. Get lost and you might never return. But don't you worry, Ami here will find Lika. If that's the case, I'll lead the way. What? I know you must be worried, Yusun, but we haven't got much time. What do you mean? The demons are waiting for the Day of Darkness. It's a solar eclipse that occurs once every 100 years. Kamui will be to in total darkness for a whole day when it happens. Without sunlight and without with the demons' blizzards going on, no living thing in Kamui will be able to survive on that day. There are only a few days left till the days of day of darkness. If Lika's not here to recite the volcanic incantation by then, Amaterasu, you're no ordinary wolf, are you? Kam Kamu wouldn't have asked you to do this otherwise. Maybe you're the reincarnation of the white wolf Shiranui. You must be very strong if you can cope with Isun. And your point is? Sorry, anyway, there's no time to lose. I'll lead you into the forest of Matarasu. Come when you are ready. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going ahead to the, sh to the edge of the forest. And we're not actually going to go there just yet. Hey, wait a sec. You're not really going to go to Yoshpeta, are you? <laughs> Ignorance must be bliss. Hey, furball. The forest entrance has been sealed by the Yowena Crest. Strangers can't even get in unless, of course, somebody from the Yowena tribe whips up a spell or something. Why are you so bent on entering Yoshpet? The entrance has been sealed by Yowena Crest. If you really want to go, I won't stop you. 
We do need something first, but we're not going to go there just yet. I'm only going down here for two things. Well, actually, I'm going on here just to get to the mermaid fountain, because there are three locations with those diamond rocks. Well, technically four, but we're only- we're gonna be going to three of them for now. And still a Matarasu. I really wanted to show something else. Okay, good. Alright. I can't just bark at it. Come on. Well, the first spot is going to be here in North Ryoshima Coast. One diamond. 50 praise. The second spot is here in Ryoshima Coast by the Mermaid Fountain. One diamond. 50 praise. And the last one is here in Agata Forest, right in front of Madame Fawn's house. One diamond. 50 praise. Technically the last one we need to find is here in Kamui. This is right near Wally's house. There's a cave right here where we power slash those bats. This holds... This one holds a stray bead and another... Th a stray bead and another diamond rock covering a clover that gives you 50 praise. Now, this one. Tribe of the Moon. We are going to read that. Uh, travel guide. Go down. I think that's 28 or something. No, it's 29. Okay. After decades of internal debate, I have decided to write about the man who spoke to me regarding the Celestial Plane's destruction. I shall endeavor to shoulder the heavy burden of that man's fate. My brush shall act as a bridge to the shadowy past. The man had identified himself as a member of the Moon Tribe. The idea of life thriving on that desolate rock is mind-boggling. Furthermore, their civilization has far surpassed our own. Most of their ranks succumbed to death, but this man had fled. He was silent on the topic of why his civilization was destroyed. What business could the Golden Tribe of the Moon have with us? I gaze into the distance, knowing the answer cannot evade me forever. So yeah, Bas yeah, the moon. Basically, the Moon Tribe, the man of the Moon Tribe, was there when the Celestial Plane met its end. So he knew all about the gods, how the gods died. But maybe he doesn't know about how his own civilization was destroyed. And I forgot that had an exorcism spell. I think we have eight of those right now. Here is the fifth and final diamond rock that gives wind, no, that gives 50 praise. Feed this bear the fish. And I think I have, we have one last heart container that we we're able to upgrade, and after that we'll have gotten everything that needed praise throughout the entire game. Okay. Now over there, yeah, that... Actually, wait, no. Ah, crap. I remember posting a video about a glitch that happened here that ended up, like, landing on top of the edge that just dispersed me into the freaking... This... I ended up landing on this edge, and I kept falling to my doom in there, and it kept landing on the edge, falling to my doom, landing on the edge, falling to my doom. Like, I wasn't even touching anything on the Wiimote, and... I ended up kept falling in there. I, I even remember posting that video like a few years ago. I was still at Drew University at that point. Yeah, I think that was on like my fifth playthrough or so. Oh, there we go. I forgot they gave that much praise. Here we are. Now that we have this much. Oh, we got game 4,000 yen. Now that we have everything on our praise list maxed out, we can still get praise, but... How, what, what will praise do now that you've maxed out every single one of your upgrades? Every time you get a unit of pr every unit of praise you get from now on gives you a thousand yen. Yeah, so that's how you're going to be able to get your money very easily from now on. I didn't think I'd be able to finish this off so early. In I didn't think I'd be able to get that much much praise this early. In the I didn't think I'd be able to <laughs> max out all my upgrades this early. I thought I was going to have to wait until later. Okay, here we go. 
Oh wait, I think I got one. Oh, forget it. Anyways, now that we've gotten to that, I'm gonna meet you guys at the Origin Mirror web here, where we are going to, going to be warping to the Kamui as a Fuji save mirror. Okay, now that we're here, we're gonna use Mist Warp. To get over to the Izofuji rock area. This is the other story B. This is only this is the other other and last story B that is required required to get missed where Mist Warp is required. Anyways, there's a bear over here. I have three treasure chests over there. I think this is the last bear. I think this is the last bear that you can feed in the game. Not mistaken. Uh Uh, let me just check. I'm pretty sure this is the last bear we can feed in the game. Indeed it is! He's holding a white porcelain pot. I believe the other ha I believe the other one in the end has a... Yes, yeah, silver pocket watch. The third silver pocket watch. And this one has a stray bead. Okay, I'm gonna meet you guys back over at that building we found near that gigantic gate in, in Ezofuji. Again, I'm sorry if this area, this episode has a lot of cutting, but it's necessary to f it's necessary to fit all this ex the last of this exploration into one video. We'll be able to continue with the story in the next episode. Okay, now that we're back here, again. Okay. And I lied to you, we're actually going to be continuing with the story just by talking to the person inside of this area. Inside of this building. This is Tuskull. I know who you are. That divine look of yours is unmistakable. You're the legendary White Wolf Shirinui, aren't you? Wow, they heard that name here too? Well, I suppose Shirinui's legend did travel across the sea to Kamui. Guess it really resonates with the Ominas because they're so spiritual. Oh, Isun, it's been quite a while, so you're still alive. Shaman Tuskull. I ain't ready to kick the bucket yet. I just left on a little trip, that's all. Well, I'm glad to see you're safe. As you can see, we haven't been so lucky here in Kamui. Since the monsters we were, were revived, many people have lost their lives. Yeah, I've heard all about it. So what's up with those demons coming back? And where the heck is Lika? The demons have shut themselves up in Ka Ezofuji's Waoku Shrine. They're responsible for the fierce blizzard raging throughout Nikopon Kamui. Almost didn't equal. We're, man we're managing to keep some of them at bay thanks to Hafun Gate. But when the day comes, Kamui's sure to freeze over for good. That's not what worries me most, though. What worries me is how the demons were revived in the first place. Kamu noticed it as well, but just before the demons made their return, a dark force traveled here from the southern land. We both felt an evil energy flowing in Kamui. That's when the demons woke up as if in response to it. She must mean Nippon. In other words, she's talking about the return of Orochi. There has, there have been so many monsters here in Kamui that some people even call it the birthplace of evil. I can't help thinking all this havoc in Nippon has its roots in Laoshi Lake, the eternally frozen lake at the bottom of Esofuji. Talk to her again. There is a large lake here called Laoshi at the foot of Esofuji. I think the reason Kamui is called the birthplace of evil is because all of the Ark of Yamato that rests in that lake. The Ark of Yamato? Anyone from Kamui knows that story. It's said that legendary Iron Ark fell from the heavens. Oh, I love this song. This is my eighth favorite song in the game. Actually, actually no, my ninth favorite song. My grandpa used to tell me that story long, long ago in the Age of Myths. An iron arc fell from the celestial plane above and sunk into Laochi Lake. The celestial plane is the land above where the gods dwell. The gods are known as celestials there. The arc that the celestials were on came crashing down to this land. Hey, there's a blockhead in there. It was as if they were being chased by something. What they didn't know was that on board with them were countless monsters. One by one, they were consumed until all the Celestials were dead. Once the Ark crashed, the monsters disembarked and started ravaging the lands. The world hasn't been safe since. It's said that the monsters still rise from the lake's depths. That must be why they call it the Lake of Demons. 
That's all. That's about all I know about it. I do have one thing to add to that, and that's the story of the one surviving Celestial in the Ark. The Ark fell to this world from the Celestial Plane. It was full of monsters which killed the Celestials on board, but the legend tells that there was one man who survived. He managed to escape from the hell that the Ark had become. He then fled, going into hiding somewhere in our world. Hmm, the first time I heard that. They say that the reason monsters still emerge from the Ark of Nlaochi Lake is because that the ruler of darkness is still searching for that man. Ruler of darkness? Does he have a name? It's all just a legend. No one knows if it's true or not. No one has ever set foot on it. But the Ark brought tragedy to our world, that's for sure. If the powers of darkness in the world are gathering uncommonly, I believe it's because the Ark of Yamato is beckoning them. I apologize for chatting so much. Now, if you come all this way, am I to assume that you have Kemu's permission? I speak of permission to enter Yoshpeth, the Forest of Confusion. Yep, that's right. I really couldn't care less, but Ami hears another story. The entrance to the Yoina is sealed. The entrance to the forest is sealed with the Yoina crest. It's our way of protecting the place from evil. There's no way that I can break the seal. But if the Elder has ordered your entry, then I must comply. Shiranui, you may have the Yowena amulet, Sewa Prolo. Sewa Prolo. With that amulet, you can pass by the Yowena crest unhindered, and you can proceed into the o into Yoshpet. If the Elder has deemed it to be right, then there can be no mistake. You are the one who can find Lika. Find her before it's too late, and before Kamui freezes over. Okay, so basically, we now we're finally able to enter Yoshpet. After all this exploring, we can finally enter that area. Now, I'm going to meet you guys back where we found, fought one of those demons. Or one, where we fought one of the demons in the Monster Manifest. The mysterious forest of Yoshpet. The entrance has been sealed by the Uina Crest. They didn't did that to protect it from the monsters in these parts. That force originally had its own power that kept them away, but I wonder if Yoshpet has lost its power. After all, no place is safe from evil in this land now. Okay, you're gonna want to keep drawing the moon when you get down. Okay, when you get down here, you're gonna want to keep drawing the moon, because there are a lot of treasures buried underground in Yoshpet. I just wanted to let you know that. Anyways, going through here, we have... A brand new enemy! I believe this is called a Bull Charger. Technically, it kind of looks like some bug gone wrong. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, yeah, this thing is weak to fire and its floral finisher is fire. Now, it's basically like a... It's basically the same thing as a... Freaking... Freaking ogre. But only it has a tail, and it looks more like a bug than anything else. Anyways, now that we're done with that... FIRE! And five demon fangs, if I'm not mistaken. And it gives you the same amount of money as the Crimson Helm. <laughs> yeah, I'm such a nerd for noticing that. Well, then again... My autism gives me an asphyxiation for numbers. Well, I have more of an asphyxiation for sound than I do numbers. Uh, and I have my Asperger syndrome to thank for that. Yoshpit! Eastern Forest, an ancient people of Kamui dubbed it Yoshpet. It means consuming forest in their ancient language. They say the forest will swallow you up if you lose your way. Kai said she'd be waiting for us here. I wonder where she is. But we're going to explore in the next episode and talk to Waka too. See you guys then.